Jeez. I haven't been in front of the camera in forever, guys. What's up? Uh, what year is it? Like, it's, it's been kind of a while, it feels like. Ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're talking about tonight. I've been in college about 10 years. Yeah, about 10, 10 years. Like, to put that in perspective, this guy was in office. This was a thing. This wasn't a thing. And because of all the experience I've combined over a decade of college, I'm gonna pass some advice on to you. That's a graduation gift from me to you. 10 reasons over 10 years on what you should do in college. Experiment with stuff. And what I mean by that is not the sexy type. You, I see you. No, I'm talking about like hobbies, friendships, uh, you know, go out and explore. Go, go do things you wouldn't normally do. Be yourself. Don't try to sit there and 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 be somebody that you're not. I mean, I know it's a and it's a, bigger than you think it is. Okay, like you're gonna be accosted by by Greek life, by 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 theater kids if you're a theater guy like myself, or just wherever in your department. Just remember, like it's okay to to do other things. I need to be experimental, but make sure that you stay grounded within yourself. Otherwise, you're gonna kind of lose yourself very quickly. Don't do that. Be your teacher's best friend. And I know it sounds very teacher's petty and leaves a bad taste in the mouth, but here's the thing. These people have been in the industry, in your industry, whatever your industry is, whether it's biology or whatever, they're gonna know people that you need to get connected with to get you jobs, to get you internships, whatever be the case. Don't sit there and have that high school mentality like, ugh! Oh, my teacher's such a dick! Oh, don't, don't do that. They know things. I want to know what they know, and I want to know the people they know. It helps this much when you do it. Take care of yourself. And it's not that they don't mess up, it's like priorities is like school and friends. And, and you kind of eat a little junky, you know? You don't know how to cook because you're, you're a shitty teenager. Pretty much until you're at least 21, and maybe you might learn how to make pasta. Yeah. I I can't stress this enough. Go work out. Learn how to make some meals. Ladies love meals. All right. Freaking learn how to make that shit. All right. It's a it's a big deal, and you don't even realize it's a big deal until you're 26. And like, <laughs> all right. Take care of yourself. Move off campus. And, and, and I say move off campus not in the sense that you, you know you get to have parties and stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. Being on campus, like in the dorms for four years, there are certain pluses about. But here's my defense for living off campus. Okay, live off campus because it teaches you how to live as a person and pay real bills and, and, and be an adult. Okay, like adulting is really hard when you get out of college. And so when you're able to to practice that, you're able to to you know, work with that being off campus. So, number five, go live off campus. It's not as bad, it's a lot of fun, and yeah, you get to have parties and stuff. Take some time for yourself. You're gonna be heavily involved with all the things you wanna do, clubs or whatever, and you're not gonna have any time for yourself. You just need maybe a day, a week, maybe even less than that, a few hours in a week, just to kinda decompress, relax, do some yoga, Netflix and chill with yourself because at some point in time, we need that off switch. And that off switch, if you don't have it, is gonna to lead to a burnout, which is kind of what happened to me, which is why you haven't seen me in a while. Make sure that you give yourself ample time to come back. Otherwise, uh, you'll, you'll take fucking months for a video. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not guilty. Start looking for internships very, very early. Four years can creep on you very quickly, and if you're not sitting there trying to get out in the world right away, you're gonna get left behind. It's gonna happen. You need these internships. And I hate to say it's like, yes, a lot of these are unpaid, and as you getting coffee and blah, blah, blah. Networking, it's a thing. You need to do it. Don't be lazy, but like, ah, oh, I just, I have so much class. Make time. Just do it. <laughs> Grades don't matter all the time. They do matter sometimes. They matter in scholarships. They matter in if you're going to get your master's or your PhD or whatever you can get. Once you get out in the world, they don't care about your grades. They care if you have that diploma, the, the little paper thing that says your name, that says you did it. When you're freaking out about, oh my God, I'm gonna get like a B. <laughs> I'm gonna get two months on profit. It's okay. It's okay. Believe me, it's okay. You're gonna be just fine. 
by the time you reach senior, you're gonna realize how much you stressed over the grades that ultimately aren't gonna matter. Travel. If you go to a different place, most people go to different places for their college, whether you go west coast to east coast, east coast to west coast, fly miles from home, whatever you're gonna do. College is the one time you're gonna have so much time. Find time to travel, go places, go see things, go do things, go to a different state. There's a lot of states, there's 50 of them. You can pick one of 50. Go to spring break, there's, a, there's an island that people do naughty things on. Be ambitious with your time. Don't just sit there and do homework and do this and do that. Like, do all the things I mentioned. However, start writing that screenplay, start making videos, and start start building that company, that app, that, that, that software programming. Start finding the thing that you're passionate about now and start working towards that because you're not gonna find as much time as you will in college to do those things. And if you if you get that head start now, people will notice that when you get out. Otherwise, uh, you're pretty much out, you're pretty much at square one if you don't. That's my uh, 10 words of advice for 10 years of college. I'll see you on the next on the reel. Catch you later.